I'm here with Barry Moss, president of the Peace Arts Gallery Society. Barry, thanks for joining me today. Thank you, Hugh. So I understand uh, one of the long-running uh, events that the Society puts on is uh, coming up. Can you tell me about that? Yes, I can. It's our annual art auction. This year, 33rd. Mm -hmm. So um, it's uh, one of our major fundraisers for the year, PAGS puts on, so that we can do our, our, our programming um, within the city. So we, we do bursaries, two bursaries for our graduating high school students for the arts. We do free art days. Um, and then this year, we want to um, raise as much money as we can for our after school program that we want to start in January, along with the cultural center called Let's Art. Um, and it's for four-year-olds to 14-year-olds. So there's more, there's more for the, like there's nothing in town for tweens and teens. Mm -hmm. um, so we thought, well, let's do it to 14. Um, and then the age gap won't be so bad. But it's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful evening. You come by, you come in at six o'clock, get to preview the artwork, have a glass of champagne, wonderful meal, um, lots of wonderful and interesting artwork up for sale. We've got all local and regional artists. Um, we have everything from paintings and prints, original prints, um, uh, some photography. We've got a steam, uh, steampunk lamp. We have um, clay pieces by Sherry Patrician and B.B. Clement. It's a wide range of, of artwork for the live auction. And we also have silent auction and bucket draws. Um, this year, our, our door prizes is, is, again, generously donated by Canadian Helicopters. And it's um, a, a ride around Fort St. John for four people. Um, looking down at seeing the Peace River, the whole bit, it's a wonderful, wonderful evening. The featured artist this year is fantastic. It's the piece that you uh, behind you, and that's Mike Crocher. Mm -hmm. uh, Mike Crocher um, uh, is one of our local artists. Everybody knows Mike for pieces of uh, paintings of, of the Peace Valley and everything. Well, this year, when you walk in, it's the first painting that'll greet you. You can buy um, a ticket, twenty dollars, or two tickets for thirty dollars. At the end of the evening, we draw the winning ticket, goes home with the painting. So that's really, that's we do that every year now, and it's just a wonderful, wonderful event. Mm -hmm. The other thing is this year's theme is masquerade. We went without themes for a couple of years, but we're going back, we're doing masquerade this year. So it's cocktail dress. We ask everybody to wear what you would wear to a cocktail party. Mm -hmm. And then a masquerade mask. No zombies, no Frankenstein, please. It's all just, you know, Venetian masks. So whatever, how elaborate you want, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. We'll have some t for sale at the door. Um, all our volunteers will be walking around with them. And then this is the most exciting part. We have. 10 masks, different masks. These are blanks and, and they're made of uh, paper mache and resin. The artist will paint them with a landscape or nature inspired theme and then we will be auctioning them off. Awesome. So we're looking forward to, to that. It's gonna be quite interesting. Yeah, and uh, again, Wesley Fong is do is do is there uh, performing for us. He's going to light little light piano in the background and stuff. So it's going to be a very lovely and uh, lovely evening. I see. So, uh, how much money are you hoping to uh, raise for the programs for this? Uh, for f t to meet our programming goal and everything, we hope that we can raise at least twenty five thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Um, we've done far more than that in the past. Um, about with the economy, you know, we have to we have to take things into account. Mm -hmm. So um, we're hoping to raise between twenty and twenty five thousand dollars. That will make sure that the art let's arts will go ahead. Mm -hmm. um, our pro we will continue with our free art days um, during during throughout the year, and and our bursaries, plus um, be able to give some money to the gallery for operations and and exhibitions. So fingers crossed. <laughs> Tickets are still available. You can buy them at the, the Cultural Center box office. Um, you can do it online. You can give them a call. If you, um, or there'll be a few for sale at the door. Mm -hmm. The only thing I ask is please try and do it beforehand. I know it's Fort St. John, and, and I know that people do things at the last minute in Fort St. John, mm -hmm. but I have to let the caterers know on Wednesday how many people will be attending the event. Um, so I, I can only um, 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 say, okay, add another 10 just in case. Mm -hmm. um, so if you want, if you can't come to the center to pick up your tickets, uh, buy your tickets, call Alan, um, the gallery coordinator. Mm -hmm. He will put your name down on a, and, and we will make sure that we have, um, and how many tickets you want. We'll make sure that they're at the door for you so you can pay for them at the door. Mm -hmm. But I know the count to tell the caterers. And then, 
so that everybody, the food is so good. You know, <laughs> salmon and prime rib and chicken, gluten-free options as well. It's pastries. You will gain five pounds before you leave. <laughs> yeah, guaranteed. Well, it sounds like a good event, but uh, that's all the time we have. So, uh, Barry, thanks again for joining us. Thank you.